Hi, welcome back. Now in the previous video on index numbers, we have spoken about the methods of construction of index numbers. There were two methods if you remember. The first one was aggregate or the aggregative method. So in today's video, we are going to focus on the aggregate method. Now as I have told you all earlier, <coughs> there are two sections on the aggregate method, the simple and the weighted. So we'll see how to construct the price index numbers under simple and under the weighted methods. Now, the simple price index formula is given by P01 is price index of current year on the base year. And the formula is given by summation of P1. P1 is nothing but the current price. So summation of P1 upon summation of P0 into 100 <clears throat> so that is the formula for price index under simple aggregate method now under weighted the formula changes slightly it is summation of p1 w upon summation of p0 w into 100 where w is the weightage so here we don't use weights whereas here we use weights so here the general formula under weighted is summation P1W upon summation P0W into 100. <clears throat> now under weighted we have a list of formulae depending upon what weights we consider. And the various weighted aggregate <coughs> price indices are the first one is the last price index. Okay. Wherein Weightage is taken as Q0. Next comes Pasture's index. Now in Pasture's index, weightage is given to Q1. Next comes Dorbish Bole's index. So we have the Dorbish Bole's index, which is actually average of last phrase and Pasture's indices. Next comes Fisher's index. Now Fisher's index is nothing but the geometric mean of last phrase and past phrase indices. Next is Marshall Edgeworth's index. So next comes Marshall Edgeworth's index. Now in this case, weightage is given to average of Q0 and Q1. So that is W equal to Q0 plus Q1 by 2. You substitute it here, you'll get the formula for Marshall Edgeworth's index. Next comes Walsh index. Now in Walsh index, <coughs> W is considered as root of Q0, Q1. So if I just replace the W by root of Q0, Q1, I get the Walsh price index. And the last in this category is the Kelly's index which is also called the fixed weight aggregative index now in case of Kelly's index W is equal to Q now Q is nothing but the quantity of a year lying between the base year and the current year <clears throat> so this is how you construct the index numbers under aggregate method so you have simple and weighted now in weighted if you keep on changing the weights you get different indices so if I replace W by Q0, I get last phrase index. If I replace W by Q1, I get past phrase index. Next is Dorbish Boles is nothing but the arithmetic mean of last phrase and past phrase indices. So I can say it is average of last phrase and past phrase. <coughs> Next comes Fisher's. Fisher's is nothing but the geometric mean of last phrase and past phrase indices. So the square root of L into P. Then in case of Marshall Edgeworth, weightage is given to <coughs> the average of Q0 and Q1. For Walsh, W is root of Q0, Q1. And in case of Kelly's index, W is equal to Q. Where Q is a quantity lying between the base year and the current year. Okay, we'll talk about the weighted <coughs> indices a bit more in detail. So, keep watching 